everyone, I'm Sarah from Everyday Starlet. Welcome to my channel. Today, I actually am trying an experiment. This could be a good thing, could go horribly wrong. I'm going to attempt false lashes, people. Okay, here's the deal with me and false lashes. I feel like I'm very confident with almost every other makeup technique out there. I mean, I taught myself to do a wing liner. False lashes have been my nemesis. <laughs> for a long time. Here's the thing, I've even had false lashes professionally put on me and they still didn't work. I had a whole photo shoot that got completely ruined because the makeup artist, granted, I mean, she was a professional makeup artist, but she was relatively new at it. She put on false lashes on me and I could not use any of the pictures from the photo shoot that were like close-ups. I could only use far away because up close, you could see that like the inner corner of the lashes was like winging up. It was, it was terrible. I think there was a makeup tutorial that I did a while ago where I tried false lashes and they just failed and I just like ditched them in the middle of the tutorial. I don't even remember which tutorial that was and so I was like no I'm never doing false lashes well I'm doing my makeup for my wedding <laughs> if if I can't master it I'm just not gonna wear false lashes on my wedding day not the end of the world I I don't wear them normally I just I felt like th this is the opportunity to learn how to do false lashes I'm also gonna say one thing I have really mainly tried on myself uh, like the self-adhesive lashes and they just don't stick to me. I actually have a really hard time with stuff, keeping stuff stuck to me. Things just don't work. Like back in the day, like people were like putting like the jewels on their face. Mine would just fall right off. Like my skin just, things don't adhere to my skin. There's that. I also had, I'm pretty sure it was in the tutorial where I screwed it up so badly that everybody uh, was trying to help me and give me tips, which I appreciate. And you were like, oh, you have to trim them. And I guess I kind of knew that, but I, I just wasn't thinking at the time. So... I actually grabbed some uh, non-self-adhesive ones. I have the Ardell Natural Demi Black, just because that's what they had in the store. This is how they go, maybe. Yeah, here we go. Okay, I'm already not starting out well. I'm gonna take off just the sort of innermost cluster, just to be on the safe side, because when I didn't trim them last time, it was a huge disaster, so. And I don't know where those <laughs> went, so. I'll probably be vacuuming them up off the floor <laughs> at some point. I'm gonna find weird lashes lying around places. I'm gonna be like, what? And then I picked up the Duo Lash Adhesive in Clear White. I feel like when I was looking up false lash tutorials and stuff, everybody seemed to be using the Duo Lash Glue. Although, I did notice that there have been some out there people have listed as non-toxic, which is probably what I should get if I decide to do these long term. But we're just going to go with this one for now because it was the easiest for me to get my hands on and it's the one that everybody recommended. I feel like there's like a debate between whether or not you want them to be clear or whether or not you want them to be like black if you're wearing black liner and stuff. But I don't know. Uh, this is actually going to come out white, but it's supposed to dry on clear, and I'm going to... Okay, I'm getting an awful lot. It's way too much, I think. Seems like everybody puts these on with tweezers. <laughs> I think this is way too much, so I need to... I think I've already ruined... <laughs> I've already ruined them, and I haven't even done this yet! Not going well so far. Alright, let me see if I can get a smaller amount to come out. All right, still not coming out in a smaller amount, but we'll see. Now, I'm supposed to let this dry for like 30 seconds, so we'll count. 30 Mississippi, okay. Now, <laughs> okay, now this goes on, <laughs> let's see. I got way too much on here. This feels really bad. <laughs> Like, this this is ridiculous. <laughs> what did I do? All right, was I supposed to like brush on this stuff with something else or? This is like ridiculous. I feel like it's getting in my eye, which I don't like. You know what I forgot to do? I totally forgot to curl my lashes and put on mascara. All right, this is, <laughs> this is so not working right now because I have like, this is, this is gross. This is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> not working. All right, we're giving up. Okay, so that was a failure. I literally had to just go wash the lash glue off my lashes. This time I remember to curl them and put mascara on. But honestly, I don't like the Duo Lash Glue. It is not good for beginners, let me tell you. It might be affordable, but that comes out quick. And, you know, maybe I'm doing it wrong. That's entirely possible. But anyway, I found this at, I want to say Target or something. And um, this is the Eyelore Lengthening Starter Kit. And it was on clearance, so I grabbed it. 
uh, just because I was trying to practice. The thing I like about this, which I thought was cool, it comes with a set of practice lashes. I clearly need the help. Okay, this obviously goes on this eye. No, this goes on this eye, but I'm gonna wanna trim this. That's better. Okay, this set also came with a little set of like tweezers to hold onto the lashes, which, you know, it, it's nice to have, but a regular set of tweezers would probably be just as good. All right, and then it's got the little adhesive in here. Oh, and this adhesive has like a, like a wand on it. I like that. I don't know if you have to shake that or not, but that is. So much easier. Got like a wand here. This is so much easier. I lure. You're winning this battle, let me tell you. This wasn't gonna be a battle with the makeup. This is just me battling something. <laughs> me battling myself. Okay. Oh, you know what? Okay, I'm forgetting. I'm supposed to let this sit for 30 seconds. So. 30 Mississippi. Okay. Let's try this. I'm already more optimistic. That was a lot easier. And this is just the practice lash, but so far it feels good. Do I dare just leave on this side for the whole day? I think I just might. I think I'm just gonna leave the practice lash on and see how it holds up. In fact, you know what? Why don't I do this more like a vlog and I will update you as to how long I feel like this lasts throughout the day. I, I don't, I'm not planning on going anywhere today, so, so I won't, I'll only look semi-ridiculous to the people around me. I do kind of like the look. I have to admit, it feels weird. Like it feels very odd because I'm not used to wearing these. I think I could get used to it. I'll leave these on and I wear this on <laughs> and uh, I'll actually update you later and see how it's holding up and how long it lasts. You guys want to take bets over under as to how long this is gonna last on my face <laughs> before I just decide to rip it off because I can't handle it. Let's go for it. <laughs> I'm clearly, this is clearly not my skill, but you know what? You're, I'm never gonna get better if I don't practice, so I'll, I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, so update on my lash, my one lash, which is weird because my mother actually called me on her way home from work and she was like, um, someone's gonna be coming to <laughs> repair the garage door. I'm not there, but when they get there, can you like let them in? And I was like, I don't really think I should be answering the door like this. But luckily she got home before I had to see anyone, but it feels weird because I'm not used to having them on, so occasionally I'd like look up and be like, what is that in my vision? But um, it's it, it's on there, I mean, it's secure. Like I'm tugging on it, not really hard, but I'm tugging on it and it's like, it feels good. So I think I might try these again. Definitely prefer this lash glue over the duo. I mean, I would try other lashes. I think it's really just the application, but yeah. So let me just try pulling this off, which this feels really weird. But yeah, it came off in nice one piece. So yeah, so I definitely think I will try the eye lure again, maybe different ones or something, but the duo, I think I'm done. I'm not, I'm not having that. But anyway, if you, if you enjoyed watching me do this totally ridiculous false lash experiment to figure out what the heck I'm doing, then um, give this video a big thumbs up. If you have any lash tips or favorite lashes or favorite lash glue or anything, leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for humoring me <laughs> in my quest to figure out what I'm doing. So be sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos because I really do know what I'm doing most of the time. Most of the time. When it comes to makeup, when it comes to other things, not so much, but Usually with makeup, I know what I'm doing. So anyway, so be sure you subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you join me next time. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah from Everyday Starlet. Welcome to my channel. Today, I am doing a battle of the eyelash primers. I'm taking two eyelash primers because I realized I only had two eyelash primers and I wanted to see which one was better.